Hello everyone and welcome to another setup video for Oogie's M708 graphics tablet. This is for Windows users out there. Mac users can check out a separate video which I will have linked in the top corner of this video and also the description box below. Let's not waste any more time and jump right in. The M708 comes with a single connection wire. One end is a standard USB 3.0 which goes into a computer or laptop or in my case a Windows tablet. The other end is a micro USB which goes into the port on the left hand side of the M708. I'm using the Chuai Hi 12 as my Windows platform as it's the only Windows device I have which has a USB connection. I recommend downloading the latest driver for this tablet from their website at oogie.net rather than using the CD provided. This is because Ugi do update their driver from time to time. Head into the products link at the top right hand corner of their homepage and click on pen tablets. The third tablet along on the top row is showing the N708 for me. Click on the image and you'll get taken to a product description page. Near the top right hand side is the drivers page link. The latest drivers for both Windows and Mac are usually displayed as the first two rows on the page. Select the correct one for your operating device, in my case here I'll be downloading the Windows version for my Chuai Hi 12. Once download is complete, open up the downloaded zip file and unzip to the location of your choice. Find the setup file from within the unzip file and run setup. I came across a small problem when trying to set up. I had in the past installed Wacom drivers when testing out the Wacom Bamboo Pen. Oogie's driver setup kept prompting me to uninstall other tablet drivers on my system before it could continue. I ended up uninstalling the Wacom drivers and then restarting my Windows device before being able to continue with the setup. Make sure you also have the M708 connected before proceeding with setup, otherwise the setup will complain that it can't detect any connected tablets. Run setup and follow instructions within setup. It doesn't take long to install, once installed a small tablet icon will appear in the taskbar area. Click on the icon to open the dialog box where the settings of the pen and tablet can be adjusted. Depending on the Windows system you are using, some Windows support digital ink. You can check this box here if you want the M708 to support digital ink. I found using this option meant I could use a full active area on my tablet. However, the cursor would sometimes jump around so I unchecked the digital ink option. Next tab along the top is for monitor mapping. You have the option to choose how much of the screen the M708's active area will capture. Moving on are the settings for the pen. The functions of the buttons can be adjusted here as well as how fast or slow you want the double click time to be. Next is the express key settings. Clicking on one of them pops up with a sub dialog box where you have a large host of customizable options. It's far more comprehensive than the Mac OS version of the driver. The scope tab allows further adjustment of the active pen area on the tablet. Then there's the hot cells option. This allows further expansion of the express keys with 16 hot cell buttons. But from what I understand, the M708 doesn't support this hot cells option. And the reason why it's there is because this is a universal driver for a range of tablets that Ugi create. Finally is the tab with pressure and sensitivity test and adjustments. I felt a notch up from the light end was comfortable for myself. Of course now all that's left is to give the N708 a quick test. I've tested in both Clip Studio Paint X and Photoshop CC 2017. It works beautifully. I also tried to compare the strokes produced with the High Pen H1 which is Chuai's original pen at merely 256 pressure levels. In comparison M708's 2048 pressure level pen there is a slightly noticeable difference. There's a smoother transition in weight of stroke and it's seems to give a much smoother stroke as well. And that's it guys for setup of Oogie 708 on Windows. I hope this may be useful to anyone out there who may be struggling with installing or maybe just wanting a quick clarification of the tablet settings UI or dialog box or whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in another video and until next time, bye!